Joseph, what do we got? Is it cooking? Is it not cooking? It's cooking. Yeah, <laughs> it's no doubt. It's going to be cooking over the next few days. It's going to get hot again. Today was like our one day to kind of settle down a little bit and cool off, but then we're back at it by the time we go into tomorrow. I want to show you this satellite loop. This is all the morning cloud coverage that slowly dissipated as they went through the course of the afternoon, starting to the south. It was warmer to the south because they got that sunshine a little bit quicker. And then on, uh, eventually we finally saw some clear conditions here in the valley. On top of it, we had this smoke plume from the lion's head fire there that you can see with that smoke kind of spreading to the east towards Madras. You can see that stream right there because the wind aloft was running mainly out of the west. And so it took that smoke in that direction. High pressure down to the southeast. You may recall last weekend it was perched like right here. And then finally made that shift down to the southeast. And as it did, it kind of swooped the wind out of the south, and that brought in the fire, uh, wildfire smoke uh, from Thursday into Friday. All right, here's a photo that we got of the Lion's Head fire. This is uh, by the Warm Springs Reservation, about 40 miles west of the Warm Springs community there. Notice the terrain and the smoke there. We may have a little more smoke kind of fall south as we go through our Sunday, but I think for the most part will look pretty clear as we go into tomorrow afternoon into the evening hours and most of that smoke is going to travel down to the southeast. So I think we're OK as far as the hazy sky that we had on Friday. I think that's probably not going to be an issue for our Sunday. A lot of sunshine, though, uh, no doubt we shouldn't see as many clouds for the morning hours. Temperatures warming up to about the mid to upper 80s for tomorrow, probably some 90s out there as well. That goes for the gorge. We have some mid 90s coming out of the central and eastern section of the state. I want to show what's going to occur as we get into about Monday or Tuesday. We're actually going to have some cooler air start rushing in from the east. And with that contrast between warmer air west of the Cascades and that cold air that's trying to roll in from the east, we're going to see the wind increase. There's going to be a result of some strong wind, which isn't going to be uh, paired very nice with the dry conditions that we have out there. So the wildfire, uh, rapid fire spread uh, is going to be an issue probably for the first part of the week. Current wind speeds right now, not much of an issue, but we get to about Monday and Tuesday. Watch what happens. The wind starts to increase at big time. Uh, we may see gusts to about 35, 40 miles per hour, so that's going to be an issue. So we do have a red flag warning on Monday through Tuesday at 10 p.m. And then Tuesday into Wednesday, we have a fire weather watch because of those conditions and mainly the dry uh, conditions with the wind that I was just showing you there. So 92 degrees on Monday, 84 on Tuesday, 94 on Wednesday, 95 on Thursday, 90 on Friday. So we keep the heat through the week. All right, we'll be back after the break.